There are several ways that you can enter expenses against jobs in Errorless Anywhere, and we'll look at each one of these. First, let's look at entering an expense directly from the calendar. The first thing you'll do is choose the sub-job that your expense will be coded against. Note that this field is searchable, so you can enter any part of the sub-job, ID, title or customer name to find the result you want. This button indicates whether the time is billable or not. Choose the expense type from the list and enter a description. The date will default to today's date. You can change this by selecting a date using the calendar or by manually entering a date. Check this box if the expense is reimbursable. For items paid in a foreign currency, you could select the appropriate currency here. The amount can be entered with or without tax. If any custom fields have been set up to capture additional information, they will be shown here. You can add any file attachments to the expense, such as a copy of your hotel bill. Now that you have all the details entered, you can save the entry. Once saved, your manager can go into the system and approve it. Alternatively, you can enter expenses right from the appointment in your calendar. In this case, the appointment has already been created by the Errorless Job Scheduling tool, but you can manually create appointments as well by clicking into the grid. Clicking on the calendar appointment will open the appointment window. You can see at the bottom of the form that you have the option to enter expenses from here. This takes you to the same screen that we just used earlier, so you can follow the same process from here. You will see that the sub-job ID is already populated and this comes from the appointment. Now we'll look at entering expenses from the main menu. From this window, you can add an expense using the new expense button. You can also search your existing expense entries. For example, if you want to see expenses that have been submitted, but not yet approved. To see complete details, just click on the View button.